Hello there. My name's Richard Bliss and I'm a textile artist and I've been asked by the Bose Museum to create this film and a workshop that explores textiles and how we can use textiles to explore painting. In this case, it's the painting St Luke draws the Virgin and Child, which is a painting by Dirk Bouts. The painting was bought by the Bose Museum in 2016 because it's such an important painting in terms of European art. Um, the studio of Dirk Bouts um, was one of the most influential in Northern European art, not least because Bouts himself was an incredible um, artist in using the vanishing point, which any of you that are studying art will know how important it is to understand the vanishing point in a painting or drawing. Um, what I'm going to do is explore two aspects of the painting. The fabrics that are in it and how they're represented in paint and also the, the idea that Bouts has created this heavenly space, this heavenly realm. What I want you to do now is just go off and collect all sorts of different fabrics. That might be clothes or towels or cloths or dusters, any kind of fabric that you can find around the house. Okay, so hopefully you've got all of your fabric together. What we're going to do now is explore all those different sorts of fabrics. So what I did when I was getting ready for the workshop, I sorted it in different ways. I sorted it by colour, I sorted it by weight, just by holding it. And then I sorted it by texture, thinking about whether the fabrics were soft or hard. Try and sort out the fabrics in different ways so you really get a sense of how they feel to the touch and also how they make you feel. Here's a shirt just floating in the air that you can really see the different colours. And then also taking photographs and seeing when the fabric was actually landing, how different the folds looked in the fabric take some of the fabric outside and hold it up to the sun. You can really see how the different weaves work in different fabrics. Folds in fabric are really interesting and it's fascinating. If you look really carefully at the painting, you can see how well Bouts has captured the feel of the fabric by painting the folds and the creases really carefully. I find that if you get something small, maybe like a duster, um, and you just let it fall, you can then really look at the way that the light plays in the folds. And it's the way that the light is captured and becomes really dark in some spaces and almost so bright that it's like a white line on the fabric when the light's shining on it. This is how if you come to paint it or draw it, you get the sense that it's a piece of three dimensional fabric. It's worth having a go at drawing, although you'll find, if you're a bit like me, that it's a really hard thing to do. The other aspect that I want to think about in this workshop is the fact that Bouts has created a heavenly space. The space is heavenly partly because of the way that he uses textures and colours in the painting. Look at the rich fabric in Mary's cloak. It's probably a broadcloth. Broadcloth was actually made extensively in England in this period and it was exported to countries like the Netherlands. Also, there are other textures in the, in the room that make it feel heavenly. The floor itself is fabulous colours, much brighter than you would have seen in an artist's studio at that time. Um, and it really gives this idea that we're in some sort of other world. Okay, so we've explored fabric in lots of different ways. We've thought about the light that comes through it. We've thought about the light that falls on it. We've thought about the weight. We've thought about the colour. We've thought about it in all sorts of different ways. And now I'm going to encourage you to actually use fabric as if it were paint. I did this really quickly. I just got hold of the red towel, which to me was the most exciting piece of fabric I had to hand. And it felt like it could be like a broadcloth. It was heavy and densely woven. And so I started with that in my painting. And I tried to sort of interpret 
the bouts painting, but only using fabrics that are available to me in the house. The other thing that I got really interested in was that there seemed to be a real contrast between these incredibly rich fabrics in things like Mary's cloak and even the dress that she's wearing underneath. And Boutsen has given St Luke a coat that has got fur trimming on it, on the cuffs. But then Bouts is wearing this funny grey woolen hat, which really doesn't seem to have any place in the painting. And I got really interested in that. So I'm going to suggest that you look at one small aspect of the painting and either try and draw something from it or even try and recreate it. I've actually given you um, a few little tips in the PDF that follows this film for how to make the, um, the cap that St Luke is wearing. And um, I've got it somewhere around here in the workshop. Hang on one second. So this is my version of St Luke's cap, which seemed to be so incongruous in the painting. So I hope you've enjoyed exploring textiles in maybe a different way to that which you've done before. And I hope you've been inspired to do something with those textiles that's inspired by the painting. Do take photographs and send them in. Remember the tips that were at the beginning of this film and you can see at the end where to send them to. Thank you very much for watching and um, I hope that you'll soon come to the Bose Museum to see the painting itself when it's back on show. Bye.